Okay, um, in this video I want to talk about finding the radius of, of convergence of a power series. And I've had a lot of people ask about this, and it's actually easy after you found the interval of convergence. So to find the radius of convergence, you first basically have to find the interval of convergence. Then you simply find the length of that interval and divide by 2. So um, I've got a bunch of intervals of convergence on the left side and the associated radius of convergence on the right side. If your interval of convergence is all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity, we simply say that the radius is equal to infinity. If it only converges for a single point, so a trivial solution, um, then we simply say that the radius is equal to zero. Um, now, uh, it doesn't matter whether, when, if you have, um, an interval, say like in this example, negative 1 to 7, it doesn't matter whether the endpoints of the interval produce a convergent series or not. Um, in all of these cases, um, kind of all four possible cases of the endpoints either converging or not converging, again, all you do is find the length of the interval, take the right endpoint minus the left endpoint, and divide by 2. So. If we go from negative 1 to 7, hey, that has a length of 8 divided by 2, and we would simply say the radius of convergence is 4. So um, very easy to do, um, but obviously, again, you have to know the interval of convergence, and that's the hard part. So all right, um, uh, kind of short and sweet. I hope it makes sense. If you have questions, let me know.